back to part three of my in-depth review of the new Dark Eldar Codex. Today I'll be going over the Elite section. Uh, the Elite section, in general, got slight tweaks. Uh, not really too crazy of changes, other than, I guess, the Mandrakes. Uh, they got a really weird change. Uh, so it wasn't that much. Points cost pretty much stayed the same for most of them. Uh, the bigger thing was Rax can no longer be taken as troops, as I mentioned. But in 7th edition, anything can score anyway, so that pretty much counterbalances that. So we'll start off with the, uh, were there any removals or additions? Uh, there was no real additions to the uh, Elite section, but there was one removal. Harlequins are no longer in the Codex. They used to be in the Dark Elder Codex because they are an Eldar army, but they weren't really taken that much anyway, so I don't think they're going to be that missed, uh, Harlequins. They're not even taken in Eldar armies right now, so it's okay. 7th edition is not very compatible with, with Harlequins. So let's get started on Incubi. Incubi... Uh, got a bit of a point drop. They used to be 22 points a model, now they're 20. So, dropping two points. They lost Bloodstone, uh, which was a big one, and their Clavex lost Murderous... Uh, they used to have power called Murder something, but uh, the Clavex... The Clavex is cheaper now. Uh, it went down in cost. Now, the Clavex is only a 10-point upgrade, so that's not too bad. It goes up to 30 points for the Clavex, and the Clavex is pretty nasty, because uh, he can take Demi-Claves demi instead of the Claves. And uh, they're just a better weapon overall. Uh, they have the same wep they have the same stat line as before. Um, Incubi are weapon skill of five, ballistic skill four, strength toughness three, one wound, initiative five, two attacks, leadership nine. And Clavex has weapon skill six, ballistic skill five, and six initiative instead of and three attacks. So he's just a better Incubi all around. I'd recommend if you do take Incubi, I think upgrading to the Clavex. For 10 points is actually a worthy upgrade. I think that's very worthy. And you can give them a Raider or a Venom as a dedicated transport. I'll discuss more of those in the ne in one of the next video in the, in the next video. But uh, Venoms are awesome now. They are awesome. Because they can deep strike. That's pretty cool. That's a pretty fun option. Up next, the Mandrakes. Now these are one of the guys, these are probably my favorite model in the entire codex. I love the look of them, the evil like black elves kind of look. And uh, they've kind of got a weird moving in this one. I think people are going to try them out. I think they're going to be interesting in this codex. But um, I don't know. I don't know what to think about them right now. They lost their five. They still have a five up invol. And they lost that. So the invol is gone. And But they now have shrouded and stealth. And they have both. So I'm wondering if they. First of all, I wonder if they stack. I think they should. Two points better than normal, and stealth, one point better than normal. So I'm wondering if they stack. I think they do. They would stack if they had both shrouded and stealth. So that means in the open, they would have a four-up cup, a three-up cover? Four-up four up cover in the open. Not bad. In ruins, two-up cover. Mm -hmm. Pretty insane. Of course, if they go up against any army that ignores cover, they're in trouble. But uh, they still have, they have fear, fleet, infiltrate, move through cover, night vision, power from pain, shrouded in stealth. Uh, same style as before. Yeah. So, no, they did get cheaper. They went from uh, 15 points each to 12 points each. So that's interesting. I think they're going to be an interesting option. They just, they have a bail blast, which is that, and a close combat weapon. The bail blast is pretty much the same as before, I'm pretty sure. Uh, 18 inch range, strength 4, AP 4, assault 2. Soul Blaze. So it's not bad. They might be a good infiltrate unit. I think they would be good for, personally, I think that they're going to be good for objective scoring. Mandrakes might be awesome if you put your objectives in cover and then stick your Mandrakes on it. They will be survive. Because I'll have like a two up, if you put in ruins, I'll have a two up cover save. It's pretty good. Pretty good indeed. Up next we have the Racks. Racks didn't really get much of a chain. They were 10 points before, they're 10 points now. And they have Feel No Pain. I don't remember if they have Feel No Pain before, but they have Feel No Pain now. I don't remember if they had it before. So I could be wrong. Same style as before. Weapon skill, ballistic skill 4. Strength 3, toughness 4. 1 wound, initiative 4. 1 attack. You can upgrade to a Cothist for uh, an extra attack and an extra leadership for uh, 10 points. So pretty standard stuff. Same as before. So pretty much upgrade guys slightly cheaper. And they can take a Raider or a Venom as an upgrade. And I really do like the uh, Venoms right now. Raiders are good too. But Raiders got a little bit, pretty much no change, but Venoms can deep strike now, so that's pretty awesome. Grotesques. Grotesques uh, got Rampage. Um, they got Rampage. That's one of the only changes. They're still the same points cost as before, same stat line as before. 
Uh, weapon skill four, ballistic skill one, strength four, toughness five. Sorry, strength five, toughness five. Three wounds, initiative four, three attacks, leadership three. The uh, aberration, which you can upgrade for again ten points, gives you plus one to number of attacks. But uh, that's it. They, they're obviously not high on leadership. Uh, they have gnarl skin, cool combat weapon, and a flesh gauntlet, which is a poisoned uh, melee weapon. So that's pretty cool. They have bulky, feel no pain, night vision, power from pain, and rampage. And once again, they can take any from the weapons of torture list, uh, like mind phase gauntlets, flesh gauntlet, scissor hands, venom blade, electrocrosive whips. Let's look at these weapons, because I forgot to look at them in the previous web thing. So one's flesh gauntlet's a poisoned weapon. Scissor hand is a poisoned weapon with rending. Venom blade is a poisoned two up weapon, so that's pretty good. Venom blades are. 10 points, but only on the Akathist. So I definitely, if you take an Akathist or Akathist, I definitely take a Venom Blade. They're pretty nasty. The Electro Whip, ooh, is AP3, melee concussive poison 5 plus. Would be interesting in good situations. And Agonizer, melee poison, poison 4 plus. So cool stuff there. You can take any of those, and you'll include up to 7 additional grotesques for 35 points each. And then, finally, we have the Trueborn and the Hecatrix. And both of them are actually in the troops' choices, but because now it's just you can take, uh, you can upgrade them to those and they count as elites instead of troops. So let's go back to the troops choices. <laughs> Erner Karth. Oops, sorry. Just finding it, sorry. So, the Cabalet Warriors uh, can be upgraded to Trueborn for three points each, and so it makes them cheaper. The Trueborn went from 12 points down to 11, so a point change, you know, not bad at all. They're pretty much the same exact stat line as before. Weapon skill is skill 4, strength toughness 3, 1 wound, 5 initiative, 2 attacks, leadership 9, 5 up save. And they can take pretty much the same weapons as before, Raider of Venom as a dedicated transport. Haywire grenades are great. I think Haywire grenades are going to be a great option to take because they'll help them destroy armor. Because they, they're great against poison, but they don't have a lot against armor. So Haywire grenades are going to be great for 5 points each. The Sybarite or Dracon, so the Cib in this case it would be the Dracon. You just upgrade to a Dracon for 10 points, and you give him a Bat or Phantasm Grenade Launcher, which is Strength 1, but it's a Soul Fright, which is, they make them take a Leadership Test, and they suffer a wound for any additional that they fail by. So good stuff there. Pretty straightforward stuff. And then the Witches, once again, same as before. I don't think they even changed in points cost. No, they even stayed the same. The Hecatrix, uh, the Blood Brides. They are the same points as before. They are 12 points, or they're 13 points. They used to be 13 points. Have the exact same weapons, basically. Combat dodge, combat drugs, dodge, fleet, night vision, power for pain. Uh, weapon skill was skill four. Strength toughness three. One wound, initiative six. Two attacks, and leadership nine. They take, I, once again, I'd recommend upgrading to a siren and having the siren take haywire grenades because haywire grenades will be an awesome weapon. Um, like to destroy vehicles. It's just going to be awesome to help take them down. And they could take a Raider or a Venom. And I think to highly recommend I, one of them for sure. I'll be going over both of them in the next video with troops and dedicated transports. So that's it for the Elites. As I mentioned, so not a whole lot of change in the Elites. It was where the, probably the least change occurred. Well, no, the troops, the least change occurred. But um, the Elites, not much change. They lost, uh, they lost Harlequins, but to be fair, they're not going to be really missed in this Codex. Um, Incubi got cheaper, Mandrakes got cheaper, In Mandrakes got Stealth and Shrouded, which is going to make them really nasty in cover, so I think that they're going to be a great uh, stick and cover model, or squad. Uh, other than that, pretty much whatever you liked before is going to stay the same, and not really change too much in this codex, uh, or in this in this section. So whatever you really like to take before, you can really take now. Of course you can't take Rax's troops anymore, uh, which is unfortunate, but they got Feel No Pain, and that's pretty cool. Uh, and Grotesques got Rampage, and the upgrade costs got cheaper. They're all 10 points now for like to upgrade your squad to a squad leader, Clavex, or the Siren, whatever you want. So not a whole lot of change there. But I think the section's going to still be good as it was before. Not a lot of change, but they were still a pretty good section before, and so they'll still be a pretty good section now. So leave a comment in the comment section down below of what you thought of the Elite section. Uh, I might have missed something for sure, so leave a comment. Anything I missed, anything you like in this, in this review, anything that you disagree with. Uh, Highly recommend. So go check out my friend Scardcast. He is a uh, Dark Elder player and does some great Dark Elder battle reports. And uh, stay tuned for more videos where next one I'll cover the troops and the 
um, the dedicated transports. So stay tuned for more videos. Till next time, this is Jay saying, happy painting.